Jimmy, you were obviously very aggressive offensively tonight. How much of that was just having Kyle back on the court that allowed you to kind of be that aggressive, or or was it just trying to bounce back from what happened? Uh, a little bit of both. Um, I definitely think having Kyle back is a plus, but that's not just for me. That's for everybody. Kyle's a guy that doesn't care about turnovers. If you're open, he's going to throw it to you. Um, he's always looking to get guys into a spot. Like I said, um, it's a blessing to have him as a point guard. I mean, there were a couple times tonight where Kyle was he was setting screens for you and you were getting switches. Does, does his presence on the floor just make it much easier for you to hunt mismatches and get into that mode? Yeah, I mean, he's just – he's really smart. You know, he knows. He's a great screener. He's so un, un, unselfish in the, in the sense that um, he's going to make the, the right play. He's going to set a great screen to free somebody else up. Um, but, like, it's really contagious because I feel like everybody starts doing that down the line. And uh, to a point where it's like, okay, somebody got to shoot the ball. But uh, like I said, he does so many things for us. He does so many things well anyways. And um, the game looks it looks better when Kyle is out there. Uh, Jimmy Tyler seemed to get a lot of attention tonight after a couple of his scoring games, but it also seemed like he's he was making a lot of the right reads when the second defender was coming. How far have you seen him progress in that part of his game as, as teams start to focus on him a little more? I mean, he's learning – day in and day out on the fly at that. So it's, it's kind of tough um, being the scorer that he is and then having to flip that switch. But you know what? I got to make the right play. And I think he's handled it incredibly well, like a pro's pro. Um, but he's he's just getting better each and every day. You know, next game he may, he may score 50. He may have 20 assists. But that's the type of guy that Tyler is. Like, he can do everything well. So whatever the game gives you, he's going to take it. Jimmy had said after the game uh, that you didn't want your offense to dictate your defense. How much of those plays, those pick sixes, when you're getting those easy baskets turn, you know, off of your defense, how much does that fuel your game? Uh, I love it. Uh, easy baskets is what's going to get everybody going, not just myself. Um, and I think Spo loves it because it helps our defensive rating a little bit. But um, I think I got to gamble a little bit less. I've been off a couple times, but I'm back. All right, Jimmy, that's it. Thank you. Thanks. Kyle, Coach said um, when you're there, Jimmy can focus more on being aggressive and sort of take care of matters, maybe with eyes a little more on the rim. We've seen also more offense from Bam when you're on the floor. How important is it to you to sort of free them so they can sort of be their best selves? Uh, my job is to make everyone's job easier. Um, I mean, I don't necessarily say I'm, you know, they can focus on just scoring and all that. I feel like I just go out there and I do my job. My job is to try to make their jobs easier, put them into positions um, to be successful. Um, and, you know, Jimmy, who's playing extremely aggressive and well today and made some shots, so did Bam. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just it was good. It was a good team win. Uh, you know, it was fun. Is this, is this offense at its best when it's generating points off its defense? And, and as a point guard, how do you try to feed into that? Say it one more time. Is this offense at its best when it's you know generating points off its defense like it did tonight? And as a point guard, how do you try to feed into that? Just keep pushing. You know, don't have to wait. Just keep, you know, try to keep the pace up, even with the dead ball turnover. Just try to keep the pace up. Um, you know, we we got guys that are um, really good defensively, and you know, one of the best rebounders in the game with the, in Bam. Um, you know, we got opportunity. We got great shooters. So just kind of getting open looks for everybody. Just keeping the pace high, no matter what happens. You know, dead ball turnover, rebound. Just continue to keep, you know, just keep keep a steady pace. I know it's always tough coming back from an ankle because that might be a little trepidation. Did you feel sort of like, okay, it was important to take Saturday off? And, and did you feel anything today with the ankle or was it sort of back to 100% now? Uh, I don't talk about injuries. Um, I'm, if I'm playing, I'm playing. <laughs> Kyle, Tyler didn't really come into the league as a, a guy who's going to have the ball in his hands a ton. And I know you just started playing with him, but what's your impression of his developing game as a secondary kind of playmaker point guard? Uh, I think he's, you know, he's better than what I, you know, seen before and what I thought personally. Um, he's playing extremely well. Um, you know, I think he has the ability to score 
and I don't think he's not necessarily um, playmaking, but, you know, he made some great dimes tonight, <laughs> you know. But when he's looking to score, it makes it easier because all the attention is on him. So he's making it easier for his teammates to be open because he's looking to score. He's aggressive. He's looking for, you know, the shots and the the the, the passes and the passes are coming open. Actually, uh, Coop kind of stole my question there, but I, I wanted to just follow on that a little bit. The, the key to making reads when you're getting that kind of attention, because obviously you, you've had that over the course of your career, um, particularly if you've had a couple good nights and, and a team's really focusing on you. What is it? Is it just sort of the patience to let the play come to you a little bit, to let the second defender come? What what, what goes into that? I'm just understanding where you're going to be on the floor and where your teammates are going to be. And we're in situations where um, – we know, you know, where guys are going to be on the floor, where the screens are coming from, where the pin downs and where to be at on, in the right positions on the floor. Um, you know, he made a pass to Marquise tonight and, you know, it was, he knew what he was doing the whole time because he knew he had the attention on him. He was just waiting for the defense to, you know, come to him and then drop it off to Keith for a layup. Uh, speaking of Mark Keefe, Kyle, I just want to know what you thought of his game tonight and if you thought the chippiness in the first quarter kind of fueled what he did. Uh, you know, I think one thing about Mark Keefe is we're going to need him. You know, we're going to need him to make those, you know, mid-range jump shots, play defense, grab rebounds, be a post presence. Um, you know, he has an ability to score the ball and, you know, he's just going to continue to get better, you know, as we all figure out each other and we're as we play on the floor together, you know, we'll figure out what, you know, each other can do. All right, Kyle, that's it. Thank you. Thank you.